So we're down here in Animal Adventure in the tortoise garden and today is the day we start waking the tortoises up from their hibernation. So you may have seen uh, previously back in sort of October, November time, us putting them into the fridge and today is the day that we start bringing them out. So uh, we keep the tortoises in the fridge over the winter, so obviously bring them out of the fridge, uh, making sure that they're okay, there's a bit of movement and everything. Bringing them over to Animal Adventure, popping them in the tortoise house here, no lights or anything on to start with, just so their bodies can warm up really slowly. That afternoon, we'll give them their first bath. So this is a lukewarm bath, just to make sure uh, they've got an opportunity to drink, because they might be a little bit dehydrated after being asleep for so long. Um, and it gives us a chance to look inside their mouths, check their joints and their, their vent and everything, make sure everything's nice and healthy looking, and then we pop them back in the house once they're dry. So first day they're awake, they're a little bit dozy. Some of them wake up quicker than others. Um, Amos is our oldest tortoise, so this year she is 89. So over the next sort of two weeks uh, with this group of tortoises, uh, the keepers will bath them every day, note down um, if they go to the toilet, so that's number ones, number twos, whether they eat anything and whether they have a drink, so we can make sure their bodily functions are all working properly. Uh, they can come out into the garden after a couple of days. We're a little bit apprehensive at the moment because obviously it's beautiful today, but the weather in April can sometimes be a bit unpredictable, so dependent on the weather depends whether they'll come out in the garden before they're all fully functioning. Uh, so over the course of the next few weeks we'll wake up the rest of the tortoises as well. Um, so there should be plenty of tortoises out in the garden down here in Animal Adventure for you to see. So quite often there's a keeper in the garden doing a bit of maintenance or keeping the tortoises nice and healthy, so do feel free to ask us some questions if you see us.